Red captain. We good? Wait, we're good. I'm gonna waste some time on. Let's go, Dallas! We are back here. We're just getting underway. It is bowl quarter number two. This is Slaughterhouse versus the Dallas Reds. Both in red and white here. Slaughterhouse in the unique jerseys. Looks like they've been to a Slaughterhouse. Ball in hand right now. Coming across. Good run to start this out. Winner of this. Devon played one of our last game was Little Rock. Ball gets moved on by Dallas. Big ball. Looking out to this left-hand well, side, that ball's knocked on, hand. and we're going to have a scrum here Red to scrum. Slaughterhouse. for in the game, first inside the 22. I believe Liz and Twistle is back, so we'll hand over the play-by-play -play reins to her. Thanks, John. The Slaughterhouse team is a team we got to see in action quite a bit yeah, yesterday. Okay. One of the youngest teams here in the tournament out of Eastern Pennsylvania. A lot of players coming Coach. from the college ranks. This Dallas side, a team, again, that focused on 15s, they supplemented by coming to the tournament this weekend after some of the WPL vacancies. So everything to play for, solid lessons, still good principles to play ahead when it comes to the tackle, the ball movement, and more. A little bit early on the scrum, so we have the free kick to Slaughterhouse, and Slaughterhouse now with the opportunity. Look at this, cutting up towards the middle of the field. So talking about principles, taking advantage of space, a little cheeky with the behind-the-back pass, the timing just a tad off. But we hear another strong whistle from our referee, so assuming that there's something with the previous penalty that wasn't quite right. If that went to hand, it would have been a wonderful offload there. They're going to get the penalty anyway, but Slaughterhouse coming out fast there, showing some speed. Really good work. Could have break, broken through that Dallas defense. And they really know. It sounds like it looks like they've analyzed a little bit and can find those spaces in between them because they're playing right to them right away. In yesterday's action, Slaughterhouse opened up play with a 10 to 10 tie with HEB, also That's out of backwards. Texas, fell 29 to 7 against Oregon and 33 to nothing against a strong Camp Cumberland team. So they had a pool full of debutants, everyone getting their feet wet here at Club Sevens Nationals. Right now, speaking of feet, off the hoops, Slaughterhouse on the chase, and we get another. The kicker tripped up, certainly another penalty to come. We hear the hard whistle. Will there be yep. a card, John? We're getting a card here, certainly. That player just right off the leg. Great work there to push it forward, and you know, a little unintentional, but worth a yellow card nonetheless. Player right there for Dallas, Destiny Corrales, just knocked into the person that kicked it forward, stopped them from potentially scoring a try there, to be honest. But it's going to be a penalty here for this Slaughterhouse team. If they were a bit closer, surely we would have a penalty try, but starting here at the hash mark, a little too deep to award it. Slaughterhouse instead making use of the space with the one woman advantage, moving the ball towards the outside, a gorgeous wide shot here. The pass high, a little bit forward, we're going to see a scrum. A little bit forward is generous, Liz. It was thrown right up in the air. A bit forward. Player had the right idea to get it in the face. But, uh, you know, that, that one just sailed forward there, so it's going to be a scrum to Dallas. So worth keeping in mind as we look across at Dallas scrum, they have just two receivers out. So a first receiver and then a center, if you will. So it'll be interesting to see what they do with this space. We see the tap and the put in by Angelica Joseph. Defensive pressure here from Slaughterhouse, and we've seen some great scrum half battles at the scrum so Entry. far on day two. Entry. The penalty to Dallas. A lot of pressure coming from that Slaughterhouse defense there. Dallas able to weather at that time with the penalty, but keep an eye on this pressure around the contact area from Slaughterhouse. We're fine. We're good. So we see the knock on by Dallas. Scrum to Slaughterhouse. Again, back and forth, John. Red it certainly yeah. has been back and forth, both with you know, good play and pressure and a little bit of mistakes as well. So that was a, a bit of a tough one. Crouch! Bind! Set! Slaughterhouse with the tap on the hooker. The ball in, just left. Good control off the back of the scrum. And this time we get a clean pass off, but going to ground, Slaughterhouse able to recover. Quick to support and space towards this far sideline of the field. One to beat in the form of Dallas's number 12, Callie Davis. Getting around, ball in hand, Kareem Gallagher for Slaughterhouse. Can she break the tackle? She's just trapped no up. Good, cover defense here by Dallas. Slaughterhouse still on the go. We're getting finally some phases of play. This is sevens. Look at the steepness of this support line by Slaughterhouse as well. If they can just come and create some space and move into the space. Timing again, just a bit off on the offer. 
Yellow. Slaughterhouse just trying to do a touch too much. They know they have the talent. They know they have the speed. They're trying to work it in those, place, those spaces and play a fast game there. But they're just getting a touch ahead of themselves a little bit with some of these passes. Once a couple of them go to hand and they settle into this game, a little bit more, I, th I think, will look really strong. So right, John. We think about rugby at times being more of a chess game. We think about setting up these two-on-ones. We've talked about speed of threes and some pause and support in earlier matches too. Slaughterhouse playing a little more of a continuity game, and now Dallas is back up to full strength. So Dallas's defense doing the work to prevent a try while short one woman on the field. Knock on by Dallas. Scrum to Slaughterhouse, and we're in an attacking zone. Here we go. They are certainly in the attacking zone. They've got an open side of the field over on the left. Probably won't go that way, but certainly players off to the right. Let's see if they have a set back line move here, try to open up some of the space in this Dallas defense. Set. Slaughterhouse again with the tap, the drive by Dallas. Look at this pressure, talking about the scrums, but a penalty, a bit too much pressure, a quick pop. And now it is Slaughterhouse back in action, looking to take the quick tap penalty, trying to catch Dallas unaware. We see a break through the line, Gabriella Wood. And Slaughterhouse strikes first, finally getting five points on the board. Gabby Wood, also an ice hockey player from Lumberton, New Jersey, scores that try. There was a player not back 10. I thought they were going to get another penalty. I actually thought there might be another card as the, the player was tackled without the ball back there by one of the Dallas Reds players, as you see here. But that player, number three, was Wait not up, back please. 10. Robin Walker, away, ball hits please, the ground. Boy, but you. Wood, nonetheless, just pressed the mind there to just step right out of that tackle, headed there towards the line. She's a rangy runner. But didn't have to show right there. Just four or five meters into the try zone. Nice boot. A long conversion kick, and what a boot it was. A butte of a boot. Slaughterhouse is going to go up seven to nothing. About 15 kick seconds left to play, play here in the first final half. Play red kick off. That's just what they needed going into the halftime there. It's been a little back and forth, but that Slaughterhouse pressure and speed just showed up in the end. Slaughterhouse and final restart shading their support line runners here towards this near sideline. The ball bouncing, dribbling its way into touch, and that will be the half. So they're going to preserve a seven to nothing lead, making the most of an opportunity when they were able to settle the game a bit and making the most of these Dallas penalties. We'll be back for more action here in the second half. In just a moment, Liz Entwistle and John Broker with Next Level Rugby, the USA Rugby 2023 Club Sevens Championships. so we had to work hard so we're going to put our sugs in that half instead of waiting okay what we need to do this half is we need to use our speed to get around them okay they have similar speed but i don't think they have anybody that's going to turn it on on us okay, we're okay? Out same out. thing we're going to keep two people on the outside to prevent them going Water. around us okay guys in the middle you are holding it down hey same look thing. look they're looking for that offload on the outside so if you're the yeah. third person in hit that line Dallas on three. One, two, three. Yes. Dallas. We're receiving. We're receiving. Who's coming in? Who's coming in? Who's coming in? Who's coming in? Wait, am I coming in? Okay, who's go. going in? Go. Go. But who? Who are we? You didn't tell us. So some fine words here from Dallas here at halftime, trying to pick their matchups, trying to be strategic with where they attack and how, seeing if they can tire out Slaughterhouse. Thoughts on the coaching direction, John? Coaching direction there, looking to uh, Dallas coach looking to tell their team to use a little bit more speed. Uh, you know, from what I'm seeing here, Slaughterhouse a little bit more team speed, a little more speed out wide. So not sure if, if that's where they'll win this game. They really need to push this Slaughterhouse team on the breakdown and force them to make mistakes. We'll see how that advice turns out. Slaughterhouse with the restart, going from right to left across your screen, read by our referee, Dallas being called white for the weekend. The ball Get bouncing by. its way into touch. We're going to see a Get slaughterhouse by. line out. Again, this line out has not yet been formed. 
We got a red one player here. from each team is not enough. So we get a slow walk Here's our gap. forward. Here's our gap. We need someone in the channel. Let's have it, Red. You're on it. So after a bit of coaching and realignment here with our referee, the ball is up and down again. Morgan Striffler with the throw from Slaughterhouse. That was a super offside there on Dallas. Dallas offside player just was ramming right through there long before the ball came out of that line out. So mistake there, good opportunity here for Slaughterhouse. So we saw the ball restarted off the boot of Evan. Slaughterhouse quickly trying to move around to the outside. Look at this looping support play. Excellent vision on the field. She's able to draw the defender who overcommitted on that side, and she gets to reward herself with another try. That's Corinne Gallagher to touch that one down from Coatesville, PA. One of the Westchester University players on these teams. Won at Naira Tier 2 National Championship game. I might have called that game, actually. But uh, great work here. The assist here is what does it for me. Look, fending off the player, hold presence of mind, get the ball free in that hand. Kick, nice Thank assist you. there. Didn't get the number on that player, but Gallagher is going to score the try. Just excellent work here. You see two hands, one hand, fend that player off, get in a, in a place you can pass. Make that little pass, turn the corner. Wonderful try by Slaughterhouse. That's that outside speed. Does very well. Gallagher heads towards the center. Nice try. So the conversion attempt is missed. Slaughterhouse with the two try lead. We get a shot there of Catherine Wallstrom Frederick. She has been a field general setting up her teammates. And again, the Slaughterhouse team really pushing the pace on these Dallas penalties and making the most of opportunities. The ball high. About 13 meters downfield, and it is Dallas cleaning the ball, getting a first offensive sequence here Ball's in the second half, and immediately a challenge here at the ruck. There is no issue, says our referee, Gabriella Wood, with a key turnover for the Slaughterhouse squad. The offload to Walston Frederick. Walston Frederick breaks the line. Walston Frederick, she's got support. Will she need it? We see the tackle and the slowdown from behind. Quick support from Slaughterhouse working in that team of three. Slaughterhouse now streaking towards the outside. Back to back, Corinne Gallagher. Corinne Gallagher, credit to her, right place, right time, a couple of times in this game, and that's one of them there. We play her down for a second, hopefully she's okay. But nice work by Gallagher to get herself in position after that Walston Frederick break there. This is the earlier try. This is the first try for Corinne Gallagher. Just a couple of minutes ago, and she backed it up with the one she has just scored. There she heads into the center. And here's where Walston Frederick has to go to the ground. A couple of players come in and over. Gallagher picks it up. Players just kind of go with her to her right, and then she switches to her left. No problem with the try there. A tough hit for Tony Armstrong. Hopefully she's okay. There's, there's still going to be a conversion. The try was scored. There's still going to be a conversion. Are you going to give me the new captain? I've been the captain. Okay. Uh, it's going to be a yellow card. Um, to the player on the ground. I'm getting our vocals from our referee team. John, fantastic seeing Slaughterhouse able to play some sevens now as they work in their teams of three, as they get the ball wide. We get to see them truly play their game. We didn't get to see much of it yesterday. Again, some tough matches, a physical HEB side that they took on in that 10 to 10 tie. 29 to seven to Oregon, a team that is filled with experienced sevens veterans. And again, that Camp Pendleton team, they drew a tough draw and this young team making the most of it, finally able, able to open up on the pitch. Yeah, they're a wonderful team. If they stay together, I would expect you would see some more good years out of this Slaughterhouse team. Coming some wonderful programs. Westchester, Rowan University, Penn State, Temple, East Stroudsburg, Chippenburg. And one player from Scranton. So uh, certainly a lot of good rugby skills in that mid-Atlantic area no, and all playing to together the 50, if they keep the, the Slaughterhouse off. program going. We're expect big things from them them. coming up in the future. No problem. It's a penalty restart here. So more to watch here. for as the tournament goes on. We see Slaughterhouse in some of these tries. We'll let John do some of our recap. No problem. There was an early one there. That was Gabby Wood. She picked that one up and just came around the corner. Here's the next one. I was talking to this great bit of skill. Look, working back, getting the ball in a couple of hands, making sure it's secure. First Gallagher try right there. Excellent work. Kareem Gallagher. Nothing they can do. And here's the next one. The, the, Assist before from Walton Frederick. This time she nearly scored herself and had to take it in. And good work by Gallagher there. He sort of just shaved to the right-hand side and go to her left. And no problem. She took a bunch of players with her. Really good job to bring them back. That was a wonderful, wonderful piece of work from her. Six years playing rugby, one year, first year with the Slaughterhouse program.
So Slaughterhouse picking up exactly where they left off when you've got possession. It's so much easier to play this game of sevens. Defense is tiring. The knock on though is going to give them a transition to defense as it's going to be a Dallas player. We see the challenge here. We've already seen her strip earlier. Gabriella Wood, 